welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits and welcome to my channel. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and this week I have another gel printing lesson for you. And you know that the key to successful gel printing is layering, 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 layering. So this week we're going to be layering a few different kinds of art supplies with a several different kinds of colors on the gel plate to create an amazing print. So let's jump right in. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to layer, 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 and create a rich and luxurious green sheet of collage paper. I'm working on my nine by 11 gel plate, Dina Wakely nine by 11 gel plate, because I'm using a pad of rice paper that is nine by 12. This is my favorite rice paper for gel printing and for collage because it is highly durable and it does not tear and it has a nice smooth surface that will pull all of the paint off the plate. So this is a nine by 12 pad. So I'm using that nine by 11 gel plate and I'm using nine by 12 stencils and this is a mask. Um, so we're all in a very similar size and we're gonna make, get the most bang for our buck on that nine by 12 sheet of rice paper. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm gonna be putting out some Golden Fluid Acrylic Green Gold. This is a very, very light yellow gold. And we are gonna be working from light to dark with our layers. So I'm starting with the lightest green that I have. Then I'm gonna take that sheet of nine by 12 rice paper with the smooth side, and that's gonna go down into the green gold. And I'm gonna pull a solid print. I always start with a solid color base layer. I don't work on white. So the first thing we're doing is pulling that solid print. It's picking up a little bit of artifacting from previous prints that I've made, but it's the solid light green and that's what I'm looking for. So the next step is I'm gonna take some teal golden fluid acrylic and I'm gonna put that out on the side on a sheet of palette paper. And I'm going to be using this sunburst stamp foam stamp, my design for joggles. And I am going to press it into the paint off to the side and transfer it to the gel plate. So I'm just stamping onto the gel plate some teal. And then I'm gonna bring back that base layer and this is gonna be our second layer, the teal foam stamp onto the green gold. So we're at layer two. I've got some really fun foam stamp designs with joggles.com, including the Starburst one that we're using today. And we get a beautiful transfer. And we've also got some left on the plate that I'm just gonna take a cleanup sheet to take that off. Okay, so now we're ready for layer three. So for layer three, we need to go slightly darker than green gold. So I'm gonna be using permanent green light because we're working from light to dark in our layers. Permanent green light is just a little bit darker than green gold. So I'm gonna put that out in a nice thin layer onto my plate. And I'm gonna bring in the mask chair caning that I've designed for joggles. And we're gonna print that onto our sheet. So now we're at layer three. So now we've got a really beautiful combination of the green gold, the teal, and the permanent green light. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the print around. We're gonna First, we're gonna clean up some of that extra paint in between the chair caning. I wanna get a good, clean ghost print. So I see there's a little bit of paint still on the plate in between and the negative spaces, and I'm gonna clean that out. So now I'm going to lift it up to expose the ghost print, and I'm gonna take our print and flip it in the opposite direction and print the ghost print over itself. So now I've got another layer of green interacting 
and we're starting to build some beautiful texture and depth in this print. So the next color that we're going to get that's a little bit darker is going to be sap green. So we're going down to yet another darker green and we're going to clean the teal. Before we do that, we're gonna clean the teal off of this stamp because we're gonna use this foam stamp again. So with a damp paper towel, I'm gonna clean the teal from the stamp and you want to make sure when you're using acrylic paint with foam stamps that when you're uh you have to get all the paint off the surface otherwise the foam will not transfer paint uh paint or ink anymore if it gets crusted with the acrylics which are hard so you want to make sure you get this totally clean so now i'm going to take for the stamp i'm going to bring out iridescent bronze so i'm going to put that out on a palette sheet off to the side so greens, 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 and bronze, 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 bronze are uh, peas in a pod because bronze is sort of the greenish version of a metallic gold. Gold is more on the yellow side, silver is more on the gray side, and so I very rarely use silver. But bronze is sort of a greenish gold. So the metallic that we're using today is bronze because it goes great with green. And I'm going to get a decent layer on the foam stamp but first I'm going to put out a layer of sap green and then I'm going to take the sunburst foam stamp and I'm going to stamp this bronze right into that sap green And then we're going to bring back chair caning and print another layer and we're getting some beautiful layers of the stamp that is interrupted by the chair caning mask so now we're going to use our cleanup sheet to take this pattern off and my last layer is going to be Jenkins green. This is a really dark green. I'm going to roll that out in a nice thin layer and then I've got another mask. This one, I the name is escaping me right now. So if you have tons of stencils and masks like I do, the storage becomes an issue. So I have a hanging system that I devised that I use in my garage studio. And it's awesome because it allows them to overlap without tangling. If you want to check out that video, it's in your upper right hand corner. Right hand? Right hand. When the camera is flipped, I never know which way is right or up or down. Anyway, also the name of this mask is called Poppies and this is chair caning. Um, so, but what we're gonna do with that is we're going to use the ghost print. So we're gonna first pull the print on a, our cleanup sheet because we're gonna use the ghost print as our final layer on our green layered collage paper. Now we've got a great ghost print under here and that will be our final layer on our green collage paper. So we're gonna put the ghost print, the thin line print onto the top of our previous layers. Then I'm gonna flip it over the paper and pull it a second time because you could see there was still paint on there, on the plate. So now I've got a beautiful, rich textured, layered green print for collage application or for whatever you use your gel prints for. I wanna let you know that I'll be teaching my layered gel printing techniques 
two separate days at Art Makers Denver this July in downtown Denver. Art Makers is an amazing event put on by Helen Rice and she does it right. She has happy hours, she has social activities, she has open classrooms. Everybody gets to walk around and see what each other are doing and it is all based on one day workshops. So you can take one, two, or three days with me or you can take one day with me and two days with other instructors. It's arts a la carte. But I am teaching two days of gel printing, so come on down to Denver and learn how to layer, layer, layer with me. So thank you for being here. We created a beautiful green print and there's a pile of green prints on my floor right now. I can't even find the one that we did, but I just know that it was beautiful and I hope you had fun and I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel. Um, subscribing and commenting really helps my channel and I want to say a big heartfelt thank you to my patrons. My patrons are the subscribers to my Patreon page and they're the ones whose support helps to make these free tutorials possible. So big thanks to my patrons. Thank you for subscribing, for commenting, and following, and I will see you here next week.